the matter, you a chicken? No, I'm only afraid he'll get hurt. He can't get hurt, he's the hero. Not really, he's just a stunt and doubling for the hero. I know that, don't you suppose I've heard Dad talk enough about it? Ladies, is your skin silky Turn down smooth, the sound, we don't want another commercial. And lovely to look at? What's this that you've heard me talk enough about before? Oh, you know, Dad, about when you were a stuntman in pictures and used to make up like you were the hero and do all the hard things for him. Oh. That sure must have been thrilling, Dad. Yes, it was exciting, all right. Look, here comes the picture again. Hey, what do you know? That's me. <laughs> you sound like Gretchen Marx. It sure is, Billy. Gosh, that picture was taken a long time ago. Here, watch this. This is really some stunt if I do say so myself. Oh, boy. And so ends today's chapter of oh, the gee, thrilling serial. We have to wait till One more to find out what happened. Golly, Dad, weren't you afraid to do stunts? Wasn't it terribly dangerous? Most stunts are, Nancy. That's why they hire experienced stuntmen to do them. I'm going to be a stuntman when I grow up. Ooh, you better not let your mother hear you say that. Why not? You were a stuntman, so... <laughs> That's right, Billy. You know, it's funny. Until you mentioned it, I'd almost forgotten you were our adopted son. So what? I'm still your son, aren't I? <laughs> you bet your life you are. Say, Dad, didn't you ever get hurt doing those stunts? Yes, as a matter of fact, I did. I was in the hospital once for quite some time. I didn't know that, Dad. You never told us. Well, it's not a very pleasant memory. Tell us about it, Dad. What happened? How did you get hurt? Well, it's a long, long story. It's about it, Dad. Yeah. How did you ever get to be a stuntman? Well, it all started way back, before I ever came to Hollywood. I lived in Ojai. It's a little town in the mountains about 80 miles from here. Once in a while, a movie company would come there on location. And when they did, it was a big day for me. Say, aren't you Bill Cummings, a Hollywood star? Well, I'm not a star, I'm a stuntman. Oh, where are you working? Why, we're shooting a motorcycle stunt out here at the Gap. Uh, down the road a couple of miles, huh? Yeah, that's right. That'll be a dollar, Mr. Cummings. Oh, uh, thanks. I used to try to find a million excuses to try and get away from the gas station where I worked so I could go and watch them make movies. Carl, come on over here. I want to talk to you. Bill, are you sure this motorcycle has the power? Yes, sir. It's all warmed up and ready to go. Is the springboard set? Risky double-checked it. Good. I'll see if the cameras are lined up. How do you feel, Bill? Relax, Risky. I'm in tip-top shape. Listen, if I relax, you break your neck. A stuntman can never relax. I know, Risky. I was only kidding. But the cycle's okay. Good. Now, look, give it plenty of gas so you gain momentum by the time you hit the springboard, understand? Don't worry. Good. Everything's under control. Better get position now. Good luck. Well, I guess we're all set. Hope he makes it. Is there any doubt in your mind? There's always a 50-50 chance. Either you do or you don't. That's just what Mother used to say, Dad, when you were doing stunt work. She was always so worried for fear you'd be injured. Look, I always knew what I was doing. Wish Bill did. And why do you manage him if you don't have any confidence in him? Bill's all right, but sometimes he likes that Split-second timing. He worries me. Not half as much as he worries his wife, Dad. Oh, Joan knew he was a stunt man when she married him. What's the matter with you women? Why don't women resign themselves to these things? Yes, yeah, she should resign herself when they bring her husband home on a stretcher, too, I suppose. Look, look, look. I'm about ready. Excuse me, do you think they'd mind if I watched? Why, no, not at all. As long as you don't get in front of the cameras. Oh. I'm quite interested to see what that guy's going to do with the motorcycle. 
The stop man? Mm -hmm. He's going to jump over that 62-foot gap in the mountain over there. Hey, that's quite a jump. Yes, it is. You an actress? Oh, I just play small parts. Oh. Come on, hurry it up. Let's get the shot. What's his rush? Are they already lined up on Broadway to see the picture? Ah, uh, take it easy, take it easy. Are you ready, Bill? All set. Hold him. Rolling. Action! <laughs> He's hurt. I hope it's not serious. Billy, hurt? Right? You all right? Hey, lift the motorcycle up. Come on, get this motorcycle out of here. You all right, boy? I think so. I'm just shaking up. Oh, I'm afraid I sprained my ankle. Let me take a look. that sprain, all right. I'm glad it's nothing worse. Well, we'll just have to cancel it. Oh, gee, I'm sorry, Mr. Hellman. Too bad. We'll do it another day. Help him. Give him a hand, will you, Carl? Well, sure. Take it easy now. Lean on me. Excuse me, sir, but I can ride a motorcycle. You can? Well, that's good. So can many others. No, what I mean to say is that I can do that stunt. That is, if you want me to. You a stunt man? Well, I, I've jumped my cycle over gaps about as big as that one. What are you talking about, boy? It takes a trained stunt man to do a trick like that. He has to be an expert cyclist. Well, I, I don't know whether I'm an expert or not, but I'm sure I can do it. You mean you can jump a motorcycle over a 62-foot gap without hurting yourself? Yes, sir. I'd like to use my own cycle, if you don't mind, sir. I'm used to it. That's okay. I don't know. What do you think, Risky? Kid's got plenty of confidence. I hope he don't kill himself trying to prove it. There's a hundred dollars in it for you if you make it. If you don't, you won't need it. I'll make it all right, sir. Okay. Change clothes with Bill Cummings. Thank you, sir. All right, everybody. Come on, get ready. We're going to shoot it. Your camera's ready. Roll them. Action! He made it! Hey, look at him, will you? He's coming back the same way. Keep those cameras rolling. Get that! What a stunt man he'd make. Boy, I gotta talk to that kid. No, don't, Dad. Leave him alone. He's better off where he is. Better off in some little two before gas station? Thanks. That was great. Well, I'm glad if you're pleased. John would make him out a check for a hundred. Oh, sure. Give him another 25 bonus. Oh, gee, thanks. Thanks very much. If you ever come to Hollywood, get in touch with Risky. We might be able to use you again. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Hey, $125. Well, I can hardly believe it. Seems like a lot of money to you, huh? That's more than I make in three weeks in the gas station. Oh, look, this belongs to you. After all, it was your job. Not on your life. You earned that money, and you're entitled to it. Boy, you can certainly ride that motorcycle. You certainly can. I'd like to add my congratulations, too. Thanks. Thanks very much. Uh, frankly, Sam, when you said you could do that stunt, I was doubtful. Well, I'm glad if you were pleased. Pleased? Well, you saved the whole day. But what did you make the trip back for? Might have got hurt unnecessarily, you know. <laughs> well, I guess i better get back to the gas station. I'm afraid they'll fire me. Well, why not let them fire you? Let them fire me? What would I want them to do that for? 
Well, you just said yourself you make less than three weeks there and you're made in 30 seconds here. Oh, sure, but this is something that happens only once. Not necessarily. How do we want to make it your business? My business? Yeah. You got all the qualifications for a first-class stuntman. You really think so? Well, I know so. Well, how would I go about it? How could I get started? You just leave that to me. You come to Hollywood with us. I'll put you under my management. I'll get you all the stunt work I can handle. Do you really mean it? Well, certainly I mean it. I wouldn't be wasting my breath if I didn't. Gosh, I don't know what to say. Well, don't say anything. Leave me do the talking. I'll do it anyway. My daughter will tell you that. <laughs> yes, but don't let Dad talk you into anything against your better judgment, Dave. Before you make a definite decision, don't you feel you should sleep on it and maybe think it over? I don't have to think it over. It's what I'd like to do. But it's dangerous, Dave. Many stuntmen are injured, even killed. Every day that you work in pictures, you'll be gambling with your life. Oh, I'm not afraid of that. It's a deal? It's a deal. Three days later, I drove back to Hollywood with the Russells. Risky and Marion were living in their big house all alone, so they asked me to stay with them until I got my bearings. The other stuntmen, that was your father, Billy, and your mother lived next door. We were like one big family, very happy. Well, with Risky's help, I started getting stunt jobs. They also made a slow motion in this one. Whiskey, that's the only kind of drink. Hi. Hi. How about some refreshment? Sounds good to me. Just what I was thinking about. Here, let me help you. Thank you, Dave. It's been such a lovely day. Don't you think it would be fun if we went down to the beach this evening for a weenie roast? That's just where we're going, down to the beach on location. On location? Bill's doing a swimming stunt this afternoon. I want Dave to see it. Oh. Well, I guess that means no weenie roast. Why don't you go along? No, thanks. I'll end up cooking weenies for the whole movie crew. Oh, why don't you come along anyway? Three of us can go out and have a bite to eat someplace afterwards. The three of us. Always the three of us. Oh, Joan and Bill will be there, too. Hello? Oh, Jeff. Hello. Oh, I am just fine. Tonight? It sounds wonderful. I'd love to. What time? I'll be ready. Bye. Well, it's a good thing we didn't plan on the beach after all. Jeff's taking me out. Oh, that's nice. Yes, isn't it? I always have such fun with Jeff. He's so considerate and thoughtful, and it's such a relief to be with someone who can think and talk about something besides stunts. Well, what's all that about? I don't know. Who's Jeff? Oh, the boy she used to go around with. Still does, a matter of fact. She like him? How do I know? How can you tell what a woman is thinking about? Hey, come on, let's go. It's a long drive out there. Dave, you see, it's the same principle as I explained this afternoon to you. Except here, it's a 110-foot dive off a cliff instead of a 20-foot diving board. I see what you mean. Be careful, darling. Don't worry. I will, honey. No good! Cut it! Remember what I told you. The villains are chasing you. They catch up with you. You have a terrific fight and you manage to get away from them. Just jump from the cliff. 
Don't give me a lot of fancy diving. I'm sorry. I'll do it over. Okay, we'll do it again. Can you keep a secret? Well, that depends. What is it? I've been promised the directorial job. Do you want to handle this script for me? Well, sure, thanks. Say, I've just written a good drama I'd like you to read. Maybe you could use it. Be glad to. All right, this is it! That's what I want! Okay, print it! All right, wrap it up, boys. It's too bad Marion couldn't have come along and gone out to dinner with us, but I suppose she's having more fun where she is. Oh, where is she? Out dancing with some fellow. Well, you don't seem to be very happy about it. I'm not. Why don't you do something? What could I do? Well, you could try taking her out. I do. She and Risky and I go out together all the time. Oh, she and Risky and you. Did you ever hear the old chestnut about three being in a crowd? Oh, I'm afraid she wouldn't have any fun if she went out with me alone. How do you know? Did you ever ask her? No. And did you ever ask her for a date without Risky making it a threesome? Hand me the pants, will you please? And did you ever tell her she thought she was something extra special? Well, no, not in so many words. Did you ever kiss her? What? Oh, I wouldn't have the nerve. Nerve? That sounds funny coming from a guy with nerve enough to be a stunt man. <laughs> I guess it does sound pretty silly, but every time I get around Marion, I get tongue-tied. I'm afraid if I told her how I felt, she'd get mad at me. Well, if you ask me, I'll bet she's mad at you right now. What for? For not making up to her. No girl wants to feel like that she's being neglected. Gee, I never thought of that before. What could I do about it? You really want my advice? Sure. Then be more aggressive. Take her in your arms, kiss her. And tell her you've been dying for weeks to ask her for a date. Yeah, but what if she refuses? She won't. She's a woman, isn't she? Well, I'll say she is. Well, let's go. Okay. Oh, aren't you going to take your things with you? No, the wardrobe men take care of those things. Oh. Marion, I'm sorry. Did I get you wet? Oh, I'm all right, but look at you. You're soaked. Huh? Oh, it's too bad there wasn't a camera handy. That's one of the trickiest falls I ever took. Oh, here, let me help you. Oh, Dave, I just took them out of the pool. We're having the water changed. Oh, I'm sorry, Marion. Here, I'll get them for no, you. Not that way, Dave. You're supposed to use a net. Huh? Oh, oh Marion, I, I wanted to help you, but I, I guess I'm just too nervous. Well, why are you so nervous? Well, it's just that I saw you over here all alone with a goldfish, and I, I thought if I sort of came over and talked to you, well, then we could sort of talk. And then you wouldn't be alone. All right, Dave. What do we talk about? Uh, there's the goldfish. I, I mean, there's you and me. Well, uh, let's start with you. Was there something particular you had in mind? Well, no. I mean, yes. Uh, I don't know. I'm losing my nerve. What's this about you losing your nerve? Oh, father. Hey, what happened to you? Oh, I just tripped and fell in the fish pond. Oh, look, Dave. I've got Friday a stunt coming up for you that is a stunt. Oh, good. What is it, Dad? What does he have to do? It's a diving thing. That's why I wanted you to watch Bill yesterday. Incidentally, it's for the same picture. But that stunt that Bill did is nothing compared to this one. Here's the idea. You're tied up, and you're in a burning building, and you've got to affect your escape. You understand? Well, you do make it just as the building collapses, and you dive off the cliff to the rocks below. Gee, that sounds exciting. It is, and you ought to be very happy that George has given any you do. Well, you may be very happy, but I'm not. What? You talk about it so calmly, just as if it was nothing for him to risk his life. But, Marion, look. Oh, Dave, it isn't too late to change your mind. You don't have to be a stunt man. Oh, but look, Marion, I want to be one. You don't know what you want. It's the glamour, the excitement. But, Dave, don't you realize what may happen to you? You could be injured for life. You could be killed. Don't worry, I won't be. 
that's what they all say. But plenty of them are. And I don't want it to happen to you, Dave. Well, what do you know about that? She loves you. And I love her too, Risky. Only I didn't have the nerve enough to tell her. This is great. I wouldn't want anybody better for a son of mine. Oh, thanks, Risky. You're all right. <laughs> Carl, are the cameras all set up? You ready? Yeah, camera's ready. Ready? Yeah, ready. Risky, are you sure you told him not to jump? Well, that building is really ablaze. He knows. Okay, you can light the torches. Set the building on fire. Quiet, everybody. Set it on fire. until it's really burning. Don't grind until it's burning. Yes, sir. That building's gonna collapse any minute. Why don't he jump? If he don't jump now, he'll never make it. Jump, Dave, before it's too late. Jump, Dave, jump. Jump, jump. Come on out, Dave, hurry. Well, I made it. Yes, you did, but for a moment there, boy, I didn't think you were gonna. It burned so fast, but I finally managed to get through. Well, I'm glad to see you can use your head in emergencies. <laughs> That's proof that you know your business. Good work, Dave. Thanks very much. Well, thank you. Risky, I want to see you two in my office tomorrow. We've got some big action stuff coming up where we can use this boy. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Mr. Hellman. We'll be there. You hear that, Dave? He likes you. See? Boy, wait until I tell Marion. And I've got something else to tell her, too. Yeah? What? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Well, you see how pleased, baby, I'm marrying? This is our boy. I wish you could have seen him do that stunt. Why, he was ju he, he, just as good as... I couldn't have done it better when I was in my prime. Uh -huh. Well, I'm glad everything went off all right. I was worried. Well, I wish you wouldn't. I want you to be proud of me. I am proud of you, Dave. But not because of the stunts you do. Well, I guess I better do, do something uh, about something. <laughs> Marion, do you remember the other day out in the garden when I made such a fool of myself? I don't think you made such a fool of yourself, Dave. Oh, I certainly did, but it was only because I was trying to tell you something and I couldn't get up the nerve to say it. Well, uh, what were you trying to say, Dave? Well, I, I was trying to tell you how I feel about you, but... Well, I guess you know that anyway, don't you? Well, how could I when you never said anything? Marion, I don't know what's the matter with me. Honestly, I don't. I can go out and do a stunt without even getting nervous. When I try to tell you how much I love you, I just... I... That's what I've been trying to say all along. I... Oh, Dave. Oh, Marion, now that I've said it, I don't mind saying it at all. I love you, love you, love you, love you. Oh, it comes so much easier to me now. I love you. Oh, Dave, you idiot. I hope you won't mind being married to an idiot. Mind? I always wanted to marry an idiot, darling. As long as he's sweet and wonderful and like you. Does that mean that you will? Of course, darling. 
but, but only on one condition. What's that, dear? I want to know that when my husband goes to work in the morning, that he'll come back home at night. I want to know that he'll have a chance to live out his natural life, and that every dollar he makes isn't earned by risking his life. I don't want my husband to be a stuntman. Oh, give it up, Dave. Please, give it up for me. Honey, don't ask me to stop now, just when I'm getting a good start. I'm going to be a big success at this. Your father says so. Oh, he would. It's all he knows or cares about. What does it matter to him if you break your neck and, and I break my heart? Oh, darling, don't ask me to make myself over. Take me as I am. Will you? I know I'm a fool. I know I'll regret it the rest of my life. I'll go through the same thing my mother did. Oh, no, you won't. Don't forget, your mother was married to Risky. You're going to be married to me. Will you look at him? Been married six whole months and still holding hands. At six months, four days, three hours, and 27 minutes. And 14 and two-fifths seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, you two are certainly doing your share to make the world go around. Now, stop teasing them, Bill. Don't forget, you were in love once yourself. What do you mean, once? We're still married, aren't we? What goes on here? Uh-oh. Well, it looks like I'm casting a part of the fifth wheel. Sit down, Risky. A fifth wheel can come in handy if somebody gets a flat tire. Nothing personal in that remark, I hope. Speaking about fifth wheels, I got a car stunt where both of you guys can work on money. Oh, Dad, it's been such a nice day. Why did you have to spoil it? What do you mean? I get jobs for both the guys and you say I'm queering something. Marion, honey, don't worry about it. I'm sorry, Dave. I thought in time I'd get used to the idea of your stunt work. But I don't seem to be making much progress. Maybe when we've been married as long as Bill and Joan, I'll be hardened to it. Don't kid yourself, Marion. You're never going to be hardened. You just have to learn to accept it and live with it. That's all. Oh, you women. Look, I've been doing stunts many, many, many years. And did you ever see a healthier specimen in your life? Frankly, yes, you did. Well, maybe we ought to be going inside now. It's beginning to get dark. Yes, it does seem to be clouding up. Well, <clears throat> this has been... It has, hasn't it, Bill? I'm sure glad I talked these two into coming living with me. Never a dull moment. That's right, Dad. Never a dull moment. a nightmare. Oh, Dave, I, I wish you'd give up stunting. Uh, 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 I thought you weren't going to talk like that anymore. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm so worried. Dad says you've been trying to talk him into letting you crash an airplane. <laughs> sure. Anything wrong with that? Of course, Dave. You don't know anything about planes. Oh, but I do. I didn't tell you before because I wanted to surprise you. But I've been learning to fly for quite some time now. Yes, but not long enough to attempt trick flying. Besides, Dad says you're not ready for it. Your dad can be wrong, too, you know. Oh, Dave. Mary and I'm going to cure your fears and worries once and for all, and I know just how to do it, too. How? If you're afraid of something, there's only one thing to do. You've got to face it. Look it squarely in the eye. Now, the next job I go on, you're coming along with me. Oh, no, Dave. I couldn't. <laughs> yes, you can. You've got to. Joan goes along with Bill on some of the stunts he does. You've got to see for yourself that I know exactly what I'm doing. Once you realize that, there won't be any more fear. I don't see how I can, Dave. I, I die of fright. Joan doesn't, and neither will you. Because there won't be any more fear once you get this complex out of your system. Well, all right, Dave. I I'll try. Hello, Dave. Oh, hello, Risky. What are you doing here? 
Well, I guess I might as well tell you. You'll find out anyhow. Find out what? I just signed with von Schneidhauser to do that airplane stunt in his picture. After I told you not to? Oh, now, look, Risky, don't get sore. You wouldn't take me up to see him, and you know how much I wanted to do it. Yeah, but I know you're not ready for it yet. In a year or two, yes, but not now. Why not now? Have I ever missed doing a stunt? Have I ever missed by that much? And besides, I've got a reason. What's the reason? Marion promised to come out and watch. What? Sure, I'm going to cure her of her phobia. When she sees that I can handle a difficult stunt, then she'll stop worrying every time I walk out of the house. You're crazy. You're not ready for this stunt yet. You don't know enough about flying a plane. Yeah, well, I've signed for it, and I'm going to do it. Oh. I guess maybe you don't need me as your manager anymore. Oh, no, no. Wait a minute, Risky. You know I need you. But I've signed for it, and I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. Without consulting me. Well, I'm sorry, Risky, but it's too late now. Okay. Hi, baby. I suppose this is the proper moment to say, what's cooking? Oh, anything wrong? Dad was here. He told you we had an argument, I suppose. Yes. Dave, what are you trying to do? Commit suicide? Marion, listen to me. Don't go jumping to conclusions just because your dad and I don't see eye to eye. I know what I'm doing. Do you? You don't have any confidence in me, do you? I have all the confidence in the world in you. But what good is it when you're flirting with death? Why, every time I'm afraid they'll bring you home in an ambulance or on a stretcher. It's bad enough to have you do stunts at all. But why do you have to go over your head? Why do you have to do anything that's beyond you? That's your father's opinion. It isn't beyond me. You'll see that tomorrow when you come with me. I'm not going. Marion, you promised. Then I'll have to break my promise, Dave. I'm asking you for the last time. If you love me at all, don't do it. Give it up. I can't do it. Then at least don't do this stunt tomorrow. Wait until you're ready for it. Marion, I'm going to do it, and that's final. Marion, please. Marion. 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 Dearest Dave, when you wake up this morning, I'll be gone. I've been thinking about it all night, and I feel this is the best way for both of us. I should have known better than to marry you, but I kept hoping that either you change or I change. Much as I love you, Dave, I can't stand it to see you destroying yourself. Good luck, Marion. Von Schneidhaus, the cameras are ready. All right, I take a look at them. Here. Excuse, one moment, please. I, I look. Yeah, that's fine. That's artistic. Very good. Please, you don't mind? No. Yeah. Yeah, fine, fine. Good. Yeah. All right, fellows. We, we shoot it as soon as Dave gets here. Say, Carl. Von Schneidhauser. Pardon me. Mr. Von Schneidhauser. Well, anyway, how did you like the drama I wrote? That's not a drama. It's a comedy. It'll be a tragedy if you make it. It will, if that's a sample of your dialogue. Oh, hello, Dave. There's your plane over there if you wish to check it. No, that's all right. I'll check it later. I'm counting on you to make it look realistic. This is my first directing job, you know. And I want to impress the front office. Yeah, yeah I'll do the best I can, Carl. You know what you're supposed to do. After the takeoff, you skim over that clump of trees over there, and when you come to the spot that's marked, crack up the plane. Yeah, yeah, all right. That's the first shot for the day. We'll shoot it as soon as you're ready. I'm ready now. OK. He's ready.
Where's Dave? He doesn't seem to be getting out. Maybe he's hurt. All right, let's go see. Uh, what was the shot? The shot was great. But what happened? The wing hit the top of the trees. And I crashed a half a second too soon. How do you feel? Not so good. I trouble getting my breath. I think I cracked a couple of ribs. Lie still. Don't try to move. We'll call an ambulance. Boy, I'm gonna hear plenty about this from my wife. Bring the ambulance. Call the ambulance. Call the ambulance. My wife. Listen to you and, and Risky. Don't try to talk, Dave. Risky was right. I wasn't ready. It was all my fault. I was way off on my timing. Don't think about it now. The doctor wants you to rest. Marion. Yes, dear? Very happy if I gave you my promise that if I get well. When you get well. When I get well, I'll give it all up. I won't be a stunt man anymore. Dave, do you mean it? You promised to come back to me. I'm no good without you, Marion. I'm no good without you either. You know, I think this crack-up cured me. I'd rather have you than, than all the thrills in the world. I'm so grateful, Dave. I'm so glad. Dave, how goes it? Oh, wonderful. I've only been here three months, and I've already had two raises. That's swell. Say, so you got out of the picture business right at the right time. The last couple of months, the stunt work has fallen off to practically nothing. Yeah, that's what Risky tells me. It makes me so darn mad. Just when I need money, especially, I can't seem to get any work. What? You need money, Bill? Is anything wrong? No, everything's right if I could afford to pay for it. I want Joan to have the best, and you'd be surprised how much it costs having a baby. What? You and Joan are expecting? Ain't that something? Married seven years, and then all of a sudden, the patter of little feet. <laughs> Congratulations, Bill. That's wonderful. Great. Wait until I tell Marion. Oh, Joan stole her already, if I know women. <laughs> well, look, Bill, if you're a little hard up for dough, why don't you oh, let me loan you something to tide you over? No, no, Dave. I'm not taking your money. I know how much those hospital bills cost you. <laughs> oh, well, look, I've got a steady job now. Well, that's fine. I don't know why I'm telling you my troubles anyhow. The baby's not due for six months yet. I'm bound to get work before then. <laughs> oh, sure. Risky will find you something to do. Hey, look. Risky must have heard you. Hi, Risky. <laughs> Hi, Risky. Oh, Bill. Hello, oh, Dave. Say, Bill, will you excuse me a minute when I'm a little chap with Dave? Sure. I'll go around and yak with Charlie a while. Okay. What can I do you for? I got some great news for you. Something special? Something very special. How would you like to make $5,000 for just one day's work? Are you kidding? I'm leveling with you. <laughs> Who'd pay $5,000 for one day's work unless it was to rob a bank? Listen, will you? This job pays five Gs, and George Hellman wants you to do it. Hellman? Oh, so it's a stunt job. Oh, but Dave, what a stunt. Three spectacular stunts in one. No, uh, Risky, I'm through with stunt work. Besides, I promised Marion. Hey, you're on the level about quitting, huh? Sure. Anyway, I don't think I could do it. I don't know whether I'm yellow or something, but since the accident, I've lost my nerve. Ah! Get in front of the cameras again, you'd find it right away. Ah, I don't think so. Well, it's too bad. $5,000 is a lot of dough. You can make a down payment on this service station. Hey, what's this I hear about $5,000? 
I didn't know there was that much money in the world. Risky says there is. Well, tell me more. Sure, tell him, Risky. You said the studio wanted a good stunt man. Bill's your boy. Tell him about it. Wait a minute, wait a minute now, Dave. I told you that George Hellman wanted you. Hellman knows I'm through with stunt work. Now, Dave, you're not just saying that on my account. Because if you want this job, I won't horn in. Not a chance. I'm getting along fine here. Besides, Marion's never been so happy since we've been married. I wouldn't do it if it paid $10,000. Well, Risky, I guess that puts me at the top of the list. Unless you've got another boy you'd rather give it to. Oh, wait a minute, Bill. You know better than that. But this is something pretty special. I want you to give it a lot of thought. Well, you do the thinking for me, then. I'm a man of action. For 5,000 bucks, I'd walk around the rim of the Empire State Building on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> He'd do it, too, you know. That dumb stunt man. <laughs> All right, boys, are your cameras set up? Yes, sir. What are you getting here? Long shot. That looks good. What are you getting over here? Closer. That's excellent. Well, we can shoot it whenever Risky is ready. Gee, I'm glad you could come along with me, Dave. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I'm getting quite a kick out of it. As long as it's you doing the stunt and not me. Tell me the truth. Don't you actually have any itch to get back in it all? Well, yes, in a way, but when I think of going up in a plane again, mm, that itch turns into goose pimples. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a break for me you feel that way about it. This 5,000 bucks is really going to solve my problems. Good. Got everything checked, Bill. All right to go. Leave it to Risky. Now, here's the routine, Bill. It's actually three stunts in one. We could do them all together, but I think to play safe, we better take them one at a time. Whatever you say, Risky. Now, the first stunt, you'll be in the motorboat. The first plane will fly over with a rope ladder hanging. You grab the rope ladder and make your transfer from the boat to the plane. Right. Now, be sure and grab on good and tight, because your weight is going to pull the plane down. And then he'll have to gun it to make a getaway, to get it back up again. Do you understand? Also, wait until you're sure that the plane and the motorboat are going the same speed. Because if the plane is going too fast, and you grab hold, it could jerk your arms right off. Now, for number two shot, the camera plane will follow you. And the other plane joins you, and you make a transfer from one plane to the other. Now, let me get that part straight in my mind. After I'm on the plane, then I transfer to the second plane. That's it. Now, for your third stunt, you'll climb down the ladder of the second plane, and when you get over the haystack, make a jump. Now, as the plane approaches, you'll slow down to 50 miles an hour so you can make a jump. Jump right in the middle of the haystack. But let me caution you this. Be sure you jump before you reach the haystack. Otherwise, the momentum will carry you over. And if you'd waited until you were over it, you'd miss. As long as we're here, we'll take the haystack first. Right. Hi, Bill. Hello. Hello, Dave. George. What are you doing here? I thought Risky said you'd definitely retired. I have. I'm just along for the ride. Well, it's good to see you again. <laughs> Thanks. We can shoot it whenever you're ready. OK. We, we'll take the haystack first. Well, let's not waste too much time. OK. Come on, Bill. All right. Good luck. You know, as often as I see these stuntmen work, I still get goose pimples at the chances they take. Me too. I wouldn't do that stunt for a million bucks. Well, he does it for a lot less. Give him the signal. Roll him. Hey, looks like he's in trouble. Risky, the plane's on fire. Why doesn't he bail out? He can't. He hasn't got a parachute. Keep those cameras rolling. Get that shot. Oh, 
Have you got your car? Why, yes, Joan. What is it? Let me borrow it. I've got to get to Bill. Something's happened. He's been hurt. They just called from the location. I've got to go there. I've got to see him, Marion. Of course, Joan. I'll drive you out. Come on. Doesn't look too good, George. Oh, Risky, how is he? We don't know yet. The doctor's still with him. Is he conscious? I don't think so. Oh, Dave. Doctor, is he all right? Are you his wife? Yes. I'm terribly sorry, but I did the best I could. He's gone. <laughs> He's gone! Mrs. Cummings, we did everything possible. Yes, you did everything possible to kill him! What did you care how dangerous the stunt was? Get the picture. Give them a thrill. That's all that matters to you. What do you care how many stuntmen are killed? What do you care? That's not true. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I've seen you work. I've seen you make them do it stunt over and over again. No matter how dangerous it was. Well, this is one time he fooled you, didn't he? This is one stunt you can't do over. Because your stunt man is dead. I said dead, do you understand that? My bill is gone! Joe, darling. Let me have her, let me have her. I'll give her a sedative. Oh, Dave. I still can't believe it. It's all my fault. I should have done that. They wanted me to do it in the first place, but no, I had to turn it over to Bill. Dave, what do you say? Why should you have done it? Don't blame yourself, boy. Wouldn't have solved anything if it happened to you. It should have happened to me. Why should it? You quit the stunt business a long time ago. Bill wanted to do it. Besides, he wanted that $5,000 for Joan. And Joan's gonna get it, too. I'll see to that. Do you want to do this stunt? You bet I do. You better get ready to take this scene over again, because I'm going up in Bill's place. Okay. We'll shoot it. Dave, no, no, you can't. But don't you see? It's the only thing I can do. For Bill and for Joan. But, Dave, it won't help Joan to have you risk your life. Bill risked his life doing a stunt I should have done. If it hadn't been for me, they'd never let him do it in the first place. I'm responsible, don't you understand? I talk risky into letting him do it. But Dave, he wanted it. You were doing him a favor. Sure, some favor, letting a guy die for you because you're too yellow to go up in a plane. You're not the yellow. I made your promise to give it up. Well, I'm gonna break that promise, Marion. It's the only thing I can do. Darling, I understand. And I'm with you. You go ahead.
it gets closer, wait till it gets closer. Haystack now. Find him. What's the matter with him? He didn't jump. He said he was going to circle at first. That's all right, don't worry, he's circling. Here he comes again. He made it! Great! Why? That's my boy there. Good work, Dave. You did a better job than Bill could ever have done. You mad at me, Marion? Mad? You're alive. You're here. That's all that matters. I'll never do another stunt. Never. What, never? Well, hardly ever. <laughs> And this time, I kept my promise. The only stunts I've done is servicing cars in the gas station. The same you own now? <laughs> same one, Nancy. And you've probably guessed, Billy, that the baby Joan was expecting was you. Gee. Unfortunately, she couldn't survive the double ordeal of Bill's death in bringing you into the world. So Marion and I brought you home with us. You've been swell parents. Why not? We have a swell son. There's one thing that troubles me, though. What's that, Billy? Well, I should think running a gas station would seem pretty tame after all that excitement. Yeah, don't you wish you could go back to doing stunts again? Well, I... Darling, hmm? that dog next door has got Fluffy up a tree, and I can't get her to come down. Well, let's go see how good a cat caller I can be. Come on. Fluffy, come on down, Fluffy. Oh, dear, I'd better call the fire department. Oh, now, wait a minute. I can do anything the fire department can do. Be Watch careful, this. Dave. Wow, look at that. Darling, be careful. You'll hurt yourself. Buffy, come on. Oh, here you are, kids. Okay, now run along. Well, not bad for an old man, huh? I'm glad I still have the neck. I'm glad to see you've still got your neck. <laughs> Marion, it's just like your father used to say. Once a stuntman, always a stuntman. <laughs>